My name is Emmanuel, originally from South Sudan. I am one of the youth, le youth leaders in this project, actually. <laughs> and my name is Kelvin. Um, I'm 22 and I'm originally from Ghana and I am one of the youth leaders in this project. When it comes to hate speech, uh, when you look at rural areas in, in Ireland um, where there's not much um, diverse people, um, if you find a certain, there are, that's where the hate speech is kind of like is, and it affects young people especially the most, and uh, the older generation have their mind kind of like a little bit set, so in order for us to kind of like uh, to have a change, um, we kind of like as the young people, we use our skills and um, think to kind of like tackle hate speech. Okay. <laughs> Personally, the reason why I really love this is because um, of the awareness it creates of the hate speech that exists here in Ireland. If you look at it in a European context, Ireland is one of the two countries in Europe that doesn't have a hate speech legislation. And whenever you look at promotional video about Ireland or tourists coming to Ireland, they hide that. They hide all the problems, the discrimination, the hate speech we face on a daily basis here in Ireland. They hide it under the green, the green scenery of Ireland, the friendliness of Ireland. I'm not saying Ireland is not that great. It is great, but then we do have a problem in Ireland that needs to be, people need to be aware of and the no hate speech movement, they, they make it aware and they tackle it. So I want to be a part of something that tackles something that I experience on my daily life. As if I can echo a little bit of what Emmanuel said, is um, there is some hateful um, things that happen in Ireland, but you can, especially in the rural areas, where there's not much diverse um, in the country. So when it comes to that, there's hate speech, but it looks like it's not. So with this project, what we basically we're trying to find out is for our young people, you know, um, to understand that we can, without creativity, we can create change. And it's us that can create a change because our elders have, their mindset is set already. And when whatever we tell them, we might not get the much impact that we want. But if we really want to change, um, stop hate speech, it will come from us, the youth, and our creativity ways of like, um, as the training, what we've been doing, talking about um, how online, so true videos, pictures, everything, how we are going to use it. So with our creativity and our, our youth, we'll be able to, that's why. In this yes. uh, another thing I'm really expecting is a really, really strong team yeah. of, no hate spe um, mm -hmm. of hate speech fighters like um, where we can work together to tackle these issues even after the, the official campaign has ended. We, we want to continue fighting hate speech here in Ireland. So to have that kind of team giving you that support, giving you that, that courage to go on and tackle them, I think it's very important and that's one of the main things I'm expecting to get from this uh, training. Yeah, um, another thing that like from the team, we comes with like one thing we are expecting is we still keep the the social the connection between us the links because um, during this training every we are able to identify many skills you know and these skills we we are we would like to kind of like connect with each other you know like I do graphic designs and uh, web designs and the dancing and everything Emmanuel is very good at kind of like bringing people in and um, looking for looking for more young people also that we have video editors. So if I need them, I have a connection straight away in link. So to keep this, um, the unity and the links together to push that. Like Kelvin, he lives up in Dublin and I live all the way in Kilkenny. Yeah. So we didn't, I actually brought something back to my own community. And in the end result, we interacted with over 100 young people. Now imagine just the two and maybe four others. Yeah. got to over 100 people. Now we have about 20, 18 people today. Imagine what they can do, how many more people can they reach yeah. out to. May I just yeah. say, I'm really looking forward to the presentation of accessing these funds because all my guys in Kenya now, they want something yeah. to help their <laughs> little community. So it's really great. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just Keep on supporting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's either support or they support hate speech. <laughs>